Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft, The Og Box, Part 11. And the last one we realized it was nighttime, we were harvesting cobblestone. So, let's harvest some more. Hope our villagers get ahead, and hopefully replace uh, some of those wooden structures with stone ones. And maybe, just maybe, they'll be able to survive some uh, polar bear attacks someday. Probably not. Maybe so. What the heck is going on up there? I don't know. Still nighttime, so let's go back down here. Where we encountered some lava. check my timer before I start. I really should. Alright. Should be getting close to the bottom, I would think. Mm, probably not, though. Probably not even halfway. I should be getting close. No. Not even close. But we're pretty close. <laughs> no thanks, zombie man. I would not like to die today. Thanks for the offer, though. Gold! I love gold! If you hear strange noises behind me, that's because Molly's there. Say hi to Molly, everybody. Hi to Molly, everybody! No, not literally. Hola. Molly says hello to our Spanish viewers. She said hola, which in English is hello. I said salve. Now she said something about the Norwegians in Norway or something. She, sorry. She said sorry for speaking. She said, sorry, Latin. Latin, are you watching this? I don't know. Difficult. She said, typical, I think. Difficult. Difficult. The language is difficult. Unlike dealing with me, which is easy. Right, Molly? Don't answer that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm awesome. And by awesome, I mean terrible at playing games. I don't even know if everything's recording this time, guys. I have no idea. <laughs> we'll see if episode 10 is even postable. Episode 10 original should have should have been, but wasn't. So we'll see about this one. Hippopotamus is... Yes, that's still stuck in my head, okay? Back off! Buttercup. Alright, you, you, you. Okay, so you're next. Give me redstone or give me death. Pretty sure uh, Thomas, um, what was his name? Thomas Aquinas wrote that whenever he wrote the Declaration of uh, Dependence. Give me bread or give me lapis. Oh, it's diamonds! I found diamonds! Oh, yeah! I thought that was loppies. <laughs> My voice just cracked like nine times from Sunday, and I don't even care. Okay, I care a little bit, but... <laughs> yeah, diamonds! <laughs> oh, yeah. Just another day in the life of Wade, getting rich. As I always say, guys, get rich or dig trying. Pretty sure no one's ever said anything close to that before. Get rich or dig trying. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's an original. That original, Molly? Don't answer that. You're an original. I'm an original. Like Pringles. Original. The best flavor. 
Pringles, once you pop the fun, can't stop. I really need to quit advertising products because I'm, I'm not endorsed by anybody. And I'm probably just screwing over the people that are advertising. You know, like the car commercials and uh, games and bathware products. They hate it whenever I advertise for whatever I just advertised for that I already forgot about. Who knows, though? Mark puts Cheez-Its on his head, and that's apparently a thing, so maybe, maybe it's okay. I is who I is, and I says what I is. And is our giant tree growing? No. Oh! Oh! Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Huh. I don't know what's happening here, but it looks awful. What an awful display of awfulness. Alright. Back to the fort. Where the green grass grows all around. sell us stuff yeah I'm here to sell you stuff you're welcome Natsumi Hidaka that's not how you pronounce my name at all um can I please sell pretty please trading with the player anybody um you whoa uh what Buy Koya. What's Koya? 25A. 32A. We're gonna buy Chugitu Chusisu. Sweet, we bought Chugitu Chusisu. We're awesome. Not speaking Spanish. Where is your wife? Terra Shakun? Oh, you're the wife. Then why can't I trade with you? Please! I have so much goody thing for you. Like sentences that aren't actually sentences. I am too tired to trade? No! You killed everyone, bear! There's like one lonely little boy with no parents, living in this sham of a house. This is the saddest thing I've ever seen in this game. How do you do? His family got mauled in front of him, and he's still polite. This is why you guys need manners. If, if, uh... If Ken doll here can be nice, so can you. I mean, his family got massacred in front of him. And what does he say? How do you do? How do you do? That's not a lesson in morality. I... I don't know what it has to do with morals. Yeah. So take that. Take that, econ professor. That I never had. Come trade with me. Come trade with me. <laughs> Please. Ah! <clears throat> I forgot that that sword would launch me forward. My bedtime? It's the middle of the day! What is- There's two horses making out over there. This lady won't trade with me because she's resting. Uh, what the heck? This place is messed up. Well, at least we got one hard worker that'll probably be eaten by a bear tonight. <sighs> I'm about to have a cow. For dinner. <laughs> yeah. High five for Wade. Alright, let's cook up some more iron, because that's what we do for a living. Forever. Boom. Shaka waka waka. Waka waka waka. Wow, we have like no coal. This is it. This is our coal reserve. 
21. <sighs> so, anyway, that way, as you guys can see in the distance, is that building that we found. Couldn't see it from a distance before, but since we ran to it, now all of a sudden it's like the Mount Rushmore to our, uh, uh Mount St. Helens after it erupted. That's our mountain. Volcano. Hill. Plateau thing. I took geology once. I, I remember all the, all the proper deltas of the left coast of the West Nile virus. If you, you guys probably don't understand that. That's complicated talk there. But, uh, basically what I'm trying to say is Tower That Blew Uppy. Yeah, that's the scientific name. Right, Molly? Yes. Yes. She didn't say totes this time. She said yes. Wow. Evolution is true, my friends. Evolution. Bringing you forward. Pretty sure I can't say bringing you forward. I think that's somebody else's thing. This car company is that Toyota that says that. Ford, Mitsubishi, Honda. It's one of those. I'm sure that they're, they're glad they're advertising, at least it makes me remember that much. That it could be any car company. I know, I'm gonna get some mad comments from some people that work there like, Wade, you totally screwed with us. You messed with us for the last time. And they're gonna come threaten me with their tires or something. Whatever they do. You know those car people, they're crazy. With their tires. Alright, let's go try trading again. Maybe this lady's like, realizing it's the middle of the day now. And it's not, in fact, her bedtime. These villagers are so, like, completely crazy. They've lost their minds. I mean, their friends and family have been massacred in front of them time after time. And they're finally about to snap. I knew, I, I had a feeling it was going to happen before too long. Uh. Praise. Let's raise the uh, reputation up a little bit. We don't want any bad blood here. We will, will somebody please trade with me? It's really not that hard. I don't want to smack him. If I smack him, I have a bad feeling that would go over portly. Please get in the house and trade with me. You are missing one A fifty one D. I sunk my battleship. <sighs> lacking resources. What are you lacking? What resources? You got everything you need. You're probably lacking builders because everyone's dead. Northwest 51 meters, right? Oh, bear. I don't even have a little bit of patience for you today. Oh, no! They're gonna kill- t No, they killed Timmy! Ken. What was his name? Fred! Oh, he was just a little boy. I will forever remember you for how do you do. A sad end to a knight's tale. That's the title of this episode. No, the title of this episode is going to be How Do You Do? In honor of, I probably won't remember the name of this episode when I make it. So it'll probably be called something stupid like A Pun for Ponda. Mountain Lions, I swear I've got no patience for you either. Ugh. <sighs> I just watched a documentary talking about how rare it was to find mountain lions. Well, not if you're near a Japanese village in the middle of Antarctica. Then they're everywhere! I mean, the nerve of these animals just killing everyone we know and love. How do you do? <laughs> oh... His bones are being mangled in the belly of some unbeknownst beast right now. Isn't that a lovely image? 
it's poetic in a way. Poetic. If you're Hannibal Lecter. Which I am not. But still poetic. Because I really am. And on that note, we're going to end this one here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Let's Play Minecraft, The Ogbox, Part 11. Stay tuned for Part 12, where we're going to once again try to deal with our villagers and uh, probably save the village from Godzilla by the sound of it. Until next time. See ya!